Hello and welcome to Devil's Advocate. On Thursday, my guest became India's newest MP, dividing the Congress from the NCP and putting a warm smile on the face of the BJP in Shiv Sena. Three days later, how does he look back on his debut in politics and how does he explain the controversy he's created? Those are the two critical questions that I shall put today to Rahul Bajaj. Mr. Bajaj, just less than three months ago, when CNBC asked you if you would consider joining politics, you replied, Mere ko pagal kutte ne kata hai kya? Pagal hai kya mein? Three months later, am I to understand that you've now gone mad? Pagal hai kya mein ne? Pagal hoon kya mein? That's what I said. Correct Hindi. I mean, your Hindi obviously current is rather weak. Uh, I think I you did actually say spoke that. with a Bombay accent. I did say that. That's what you did. Whichever accent, I did say that. I still maintain that. I haven't gone against that. And uh, I don't know which of us is mad. I'm not. Uh, that's for but sure. Do you accept that today you're in politics? Of course not. Why not? What makes you say I'm in politics? Because you're an MP. So? Well, MPs are in politics. That's Parliament what you is politics. Is there a law anywhere? Well, there's it a law. Me? It's a common understanding of the term. Are you changing understanding? There are many common understandings of the term which are wrong, which Gandhi changed. You have said repeatedly to the people I will who not have interviewed join politics, you. I will not Could you join to politics? I have not joined politics. I have joined the Raj Sabha. I am delighted to be the in Raj the Raj Sabha. The Raj Sabha is part of politics, Mr. Bajaj. L being a citizen of a democracy is part of politics, Mr. No, Tapper. No, being a citizen of a democracy is not joining parliament as an MP is. Being Why are you joining a to accept this? Joining the Raj Sabha is not being a member of the citizenry of India. Uh, I have I mean, uh, repeatedly uh, heard you say in interviews that independent so. MPs are not politicians. You're completely wrong. I independent never said MPs, of the sort. you said I it said, repeatedly. I have repeatedly said, but if you cannot listen properly, Karan, and if you cannot understand properly, I mean, there's little I can do about that. So I have repeatedly said I have no desire to get into politics. But you've just got into Which, politics. I have not got into politics. If I got elected in a party ticket, if I decided to work for a political party, if I decided to work into, into villages, if I decided to make slogans of Garibi Hatao with no desire to do that, all that I will not do. Mr. Bajaj, I have not taken any obligations on any party. I don't Mr. want Bajaj, to be obligated. You're wonderful I have with a words. The problem is you're short on logic. Parliament logic and being an MP where, where is part of politics. Current, current, where did you go to is school? Is that relevant? Where you go to school, but it's very relevant. relevant because your logic is illogical. It's relevant, I'll tell you. It's illogical. I went to school, to, I do school. I went to school at Stowe in England. I went, I went to, to Cambridge. Cathedral. I went to I Oxford. I went to Cathedral. And I went to St. Stephen's. I went to Harvard. Slightly better than you in every respect. Maybe. So logic I understand. Maybe. But I'm a very Let humble me put it man, like this. unlike you. Let me put you it the like arrogant this. guy. Well, I'm, I'm not the sure humble I'm arrogant. Guy. I'm not sure you're showing humility at no? the moment. No, well, You're showing a lot of defiance. The audience will judge that. The world assumes and has done so for generations, maybe in fact for centuries. Hans Paulson, have I, you heard of Hans Paulson? Can I finish so you understand no, no, the question you, I'm asking? You are interrupting you me. Yeah, have you heard of Hans Paulson, the chairman of Goldman Sachs? He's just become Treasury Secretary of the United States. So he's in politics. He's, he's definitely minister. in politics. He's not in politics. Of course He'll he is. Go back. Anyone who is no. a minister in the U.S. government is in politics. It's an incredible thing for you, you to, to say to me that it's not the case. Uh, I think we'll change the subject because you're 30 minutes, 20 minutes will be I'm over. I'm very keen to change the subject, I have but not only, only when you've answered me adequately. My adequate answer is I'm not in politics. I'm in the Raj Sabha. I continue to be an industrialist. I continue to be citizen of India. I'll represent India, Indian interests, Maharashtra interests. Indian industries interest, but not two wheeler and three wheeler. Do you have a interest. complex about politics that you can't accept that as an MP you're in politics? No, I don't have a complex, but I cannot serve the people of my country if I join politics. Then I must serve them. Then I must be ready to get up at six in the morning and sleep at twelve in the night. Serve the country. An independent yes, MP is as in much in politics as anyone else. Why can't you accept that? Because it's not a fact. I don't intend doing that. Shabana, Azmi, Fali, Nariman, Kudip, Nair, when they were nominated to the Rajya Sabha, accepted that as Rajya Sabha MPs, they were in politics. Lata you, Mangeshkar, let me finish, let me finish. Yours, she was in politics highly. too. Lata Mangeshkar you did not open her mouth for six years you and I hold her in very high regard. You fought an election, a bitterly political election. That that's makes you a politician NCP. without I, any doubt. I, that's between NCP and Congress. That's you their fought politics. the election. I, I, nomin I filed my nomination and that was that. So your bottom line is that although you're an MP, although you're a member of the Rajya Sabha, you refuse to accept you're a politician. Absolutely correct, except in the technical sense. If the uh, dictionary, Oxford Dictionary says that you are an, if you are an MP, in that context you are a politician, 
technically Did maybe people listening to you come to the conclusion that rahul bajaj has a complex that he's got a problem accepting he's in politics yeah, and it's to do with his own self image will you accept that too no no why should i accept somebody's wrong conclusions <laughs> nobody will come to that conclusion karan thapar would like them to come to that conclusion it suits them to maintain his image of being a bully in an interview I'm not being a bully. Think? I'm simply trying You're to bully persist this humble, in insisting. You're a bully, this humble, simple young man. A humble, simple, simple young man you definitely are, but an obstinate one who refuses to accept the obvious that you're in politics. Uh, but let's leave that there. Ah, yeah. let's, let's come talk. to the second issue. Right. It's not just that you're in politics but won't accept it. What's perplexing people is the manner in which you've done it. You come from a family which has been associated with the Congress family and the Nehru Gandhi 70, family 80, for seventy, eighty, ninety years, and yet you took support from the BJP and Shiv Sena. I did. Why? I did. Why? Did I? Why? I didn't. They voted for you. <laughs> Out of the hundred and ninety-five votes you got, the majority were from them. One hundred and ten were from them. Without yeah. their support, you wouldn't have been elected. Without either NCP support, I would not have been elected. Without their support, I would not have been elected. Their support. And you should it? ask them why did they support a guy? who has very different kind of views than their views on every I'll come to that in a moment time because yeah, yeah, I have yeah. a feeling I know why they voted for you but I want to put something else first your grandfather Jamna Lal Bajaj was a close associate of Mahatma Gandhi he was a member of the Congress working Life committee he was treasurer of the Congress party Absolutely. he almost became Congress president your own father Kamal Nand Bajaj served as a three time Congress MP would they be happy that today their grandson and son has sought support from the BJP and the Shiv Sena parties that are branded as communist they will be very happy at what i have done and achieved how do you know that because how do you know that the, how do you know it differently because everything i knew them much better than the you knew them i knew them much better they want me to work for india for, for the poor in india the not BJP for politicians not for the party i didn't ask them for the support they offered it they offered it and i said and you welcome. accepted it you could of have said no. i will you could have said no why the hell should i have said no i'm happy to be in rat sabha i'm you not claim i'm not dying to be in rat sabha i want don't to look at your question i'm not looking at the quotation i'm looking at a quotation oh, so quotation. i get it right you by heart it before Jews. you came to interview I'm me i'm afraid your words are not so important that i want to learn them by heart but let Listen, me quote the answer you. has to get 3 minutes for every half a minute of yours not the other way around mr bajaj mr bajaj on the 6th of june to the hindu you Which said year? this year 2006 mine is a congress family for the last 70 years correct. and proud of the association correct today you have weakened the party you have ruined <laughs> you have destroyed and damaged its image are you happy with what you've done <laughs> i've done nothing of the sort if you are insulting the congress party you are insulting shrimati sonia gandhi if one individual who's no one he gets into raj sabha because of the support of three parties wanting to support him for their reasons they wanted to defeat the congress candidate and relationship so you don't think you have betrayed the family tradition not at all you haven't let down your grandfather no he is your father be delighted up there that i am going to work for delighted india for the that poor you are today seeking support my from grand, a party my father that for the opposite of what he stood father, for What happened after the three-term elections? As Prabha Rao, he didn't who's join like the Congress. my sister, he stayed in the Congo. Yes, but he didn't join the BJP. He didn't Why join the Shiv Sena. Why should he join the BJP? You sought support from them. I have not joined the BJP. Why have right. I stood as an independent? You But said there is something more interesting. Let's go to something ah, more interesting. Let's go something more interesting. You said a moment ago that these parties had supported you for their reason. They supported you. Why? because they were using you right. they supported you because they wanted to get at congress and you were a tool therefore it wasn't rahul bajaj they wanted to make an Why mp couldn't? that was incidental Why they wanted to get at congress you've been used mr bajaj if i am used like this i'll be delighted to continue to be used like this no industry in last 10 years has come to raj sabha or lok sabha without spending a penny the only money i spent was for 500 laddus not peras i gave laddus yes, but in the, the process you have sold your soul to the shiv sena and the bjp so that they can score points of congress that's their problem that's congress congress is strong strong enough to defend itself there is no question in that i am working for do you know what they say they say the mighty rahul bajaj who so mighty? proud of himself has Ooh. today become a political pawn in the hand of sharad pawar he's a small little piece huge. let me finish yes i was too yes. in the hand of sharad pawar i wasn't going pawar. to use such a word i have become the rasa by mp i am an accurate word penny. it's an accurate word yeah, you are a strong sharad pawar strategy you are a small 
phone on a chessboard and why he is the, calling the shots. Mr. Thapar, why couldn't the Congress use such a strategy and offer me a seat like this with the help of NCP you have no or qualms, domination? You have no qualms, you have no reservations, I you have, have reservations no and doubt about what for you've India done. and the Indian poor. I have no qualms for any party. In which case, let me put this to you. And my grandfather, don't misquote me, misquote him. He was the fifth son of Mahatma Gandhi. He worked for the constructive activities of Mahatma Gandhi only because of Mahatma Gandhi saying but so. But would he, he have been treasure. proud that his grandson has sought support was from the Shiv Sena? That's created, the point I'm making. Created, there was no Shiv Sena that time. Created Precisely. For India. Would he have been proud that you've today joined a party? He would have been proud support. that I'm helping India and the poor of India. He couldn't care two hoots about which party. All right. Right. Let's come to another issue. Right. You said that time. in fact you had no intention of standing until Sharad Pawar rang you. I believe he rang you from London. What was it that he said that so convinced you that you changed your mind about politics? He has known for some time that after I handed over the day-to-day -day running of comp my company Bajaj Oro and the group to my brothers, Bajaj Oro to my children, that I had some free time on my hands and we used to joke about it. I used to say, I'm not going to muzzle my voice. I cannot get elected. Forget Lok Sabha at 68. Can I interrupt? But, yeah, absolutely. Did he, so simply know allowed... you had, did he simply know you had free time? Or did he also believe that you had a lurking desire to be an MP? I'm coming to that. Filling it? If you let me uh, speak, I'll come. Otherwise, you know, I Go keep quiet. I'll listen to you Go all ahead. the time. Uh, no problem with me. I save my voice. So, he knew all about me. So he's a very close friend. And I'm proud to have him as a friend. And those who don't like him, that's their problem. But that's not the question I asked. Okay, Come back so to the question I asked. So he what did he say that convinced that you? That I was not dying to get into the Lok Sabha, uh, Raj Sabha, that I was interested in getting in. But as I used to tell him, why should a party, I'm not a member of a political party, I've never worked for a party, why should a Raj Sabha seat also be given to me? Only way I can commit either as a nominee, nom nomination, or you give money to a political party. I don't want to come that way. That's disrespectful. But forgive me. So don't tell said, me you what you told him. Coming. What did I he said, tell yes. you? He, and I said, how? What? I'm not going to be a member of your party. He said, no, independent, supported by BJP, Shiv Sena, uh, myself, guaranteed 180 seats. I said, what about? I only two conditions. Independent? He said, no problem. I said, I want unanimous. Forget the, that four parties in Maharashtra which matter. Have. In other words, you want Congress support. I said, I want Congress what support. What did he say to and that? And he said straightforwardly, he's a friend. Others may like what it or not. What did he say? He said that I cannot assure you. We are now, once you confirm, I said I'm going to talk. He said, I'll speak I'm to I'm going to talk to? No, wait a minute, let me complete. He said, I will speak to Ahmed Patel. Praful Patel will speak to Ahmed Patel. You speak to Sonia Ji. And did you? Immediately I rang up. What did but Sonia say? She spoke to me at about, she rang up at 4.35. By which time I had, because this was Sunday the 4th. The last date and time for filing the nomination in Mumbai, now in Pura, when the call in came, other words, was Monday 3 rang you, you had already filed your nomination? No, 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 it was Monday 3 p.m. This so was then Sunday. What's the problem? I had confirmed to Sharad and uh, uh, Praful, and by that time, Advani ji, and by that time, Barasaheb Thakre and Udab, that yes, can I, I'm Can standing. I interrupt your flow? Did you ask Sonia Gandhi in that conversation for Congress support, yes or no? 100%. You did? I did. And what did she say? She said, no, I don't want to misquote her. And this is a personal talk, so I don't want to say many things. But Ahmed Patel, half an hour before that, said that, about 4 o'clock or 4.30. And Sonia Ji gave me a, let me put it this way, gave me a, because I don't want to misquote her. Uh, uh, Rajiv appointed me chairman of Indian Airlines 386. He was a great guy. And I held him in very high regard. You're not answering my question. So, what uh, did Sonia yeah, say? Yeah, but I answer it my way, not in your way. You say there are two You're different, not answering it at all at the moment. individuals. They'll be still great. Uh, and the 24 minutes hopefully will be over. Except uh, that you're simply playing so, for time. So, Are you scared to say that Sonia said no? Sonia she said refused more than support. Is that Sonia the problem? Sonia said more than what is there to be afraid of? Why should I be afraid of anybody? Did she refuse Did support? She pay, does she pay Did my she salary? Refuse support? Does anybody pay my salary Did except my shareholder? Support? She said, Rahul Ji, if this had come to me, three, I got the impression from her, and Ahmad Patel said it, that three days ago we would have supported you. I know your family's connection to the Congress family for. 70 years. I hold you in very different regard than the other members of your community, other industrialists. She was good enough to say that. In other words, but I will not be able to now withdraw my candidate because I was, we were assured by NCP and Sharad Pawar that they will support our candidate. Only today we have heard. And in I other words, withdraw. I'm interrupting you. What she was indicating and what Ahmed Patel confirmed is well, that you that, were three confirmed. days too late. What they confirmed the Ahmed Patel not confirmed is not the word, he only spoke to me once. What he mentioned was, we shall not be able, Rahul Bhaiya, he called me Rahul Bhai, 
to withdraw our candidate. But if you had come three days earlier, they would have supported you because they know your family and they know you. Isn't that what you just said a moment ago? Absolutely correct. So in other words, you were three days too late. I was not a day too late because I didn't know anything about happening. If you had gone to them three Why, days I earlier, if you had gone three days earlier, I would not have gone. They should have come to me. Let me put it How like this. How could I come to somebody to, and say, give I me an to, independent speech? I want to quote to you they what you said. They were going to put Prabhara, my sister, I want like to, my sister I want Prabhara. To, I want to quote to you what you said to PTI on the 11th of June this year. I was named Rahul by Pandit Nehru. Correct. Indraji named her son Rajiv. I named my son Rajiv. Correct. She named another son Sanjay. I named my second son Sanjeev. Correct. Your very close families. I Your think so. Whether so they bad. think so or not, I don't know, to be fair to them. Have you I think today they have right damaged to be that, that really, to Have Rathava. you today damaged that relationship with the Congress party and more importantly with the Gandhi family? The answer is categorical on my part. Categorical. No. What about her and part? Sex, what about Sonia Gandhi's her, part? Do you, think, do you think it's If a damaged? relationship of 70 years can be spoiled by such an action, that relationship is not worth having. In other words, if Sonia Gandhi's turned against you because of this, it's not worth having a relationship with Sonia Gandhi. That's what you're saying. That's what you are saying. That's what you said. I didn't say that. I said if a 70-year relationship with anybody can be lost because of an incident like this, then that relationship was not worth it. And my relationship, as you said, is from the time of Gandhi, Nehru, Indraji, Rajivji, but and now Sonia. The, but is it now a relationship in the past tense? Have you damaged it? I have not at all damaged it. I think it will be better for the Congress. Let's take a break. And let's check with Sonia Ji tomorrow. Well, that's your privilege and prerogative. I'm afraid I don't have access to her. Let's you take don't? a break and what a come shame. back. What and a after shame. the break, Karan? I want to talk to you about what sort of MP does Rahul Bajaj, a man who's worth apparently 420 crores, think no, he not, can be. It's not enough to 470. That's the well tax statement. How lucky you are to say 420 is not enough. We'll be back in a moment's time to ask Rahul Bajaj what sort of an MP can a rich man make. See you after a bit. Welcome back to Devil's Advocate and an exclusive interview with Rahul Bajaj. Mr. Bajaj, now that you're an MP, explain to me how a man who's worth some 420 crore can believe that he's the right representative for the people of Maharashtra. I don't like this word 420. The figure is 419, including my wife 473. My children are not included, my brothers are All right. not included. Not la, la, 420, la, 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 la. you are associating all sorts of mischief with the word exactly, 419. Exactly. 419 is a much better word. How do you represent the to people me, of Maharashtra when you are so rich? To me, whether you represent Maharashtra or India or in industry in general, because as I said earlier, I will not represent two and three wheel industry because I you believe... You are an MP from Maharashtra whether you like it or not. 100%. Your first duty is to represent the state. How can you claim to represent the poor of Maharashtra when you are yourself worth 419 crore and that's what you've admitted to. God knows how much more you're worth which you haven't admitted to. I don't have anything unofficial. How can I you, don't own a how can you understand unofficial? the poverty, the farmer suicides, the children dying of malnutrition which afflict this state? Then I want to stop your question because there will be no time left to I'll answer. I'll pause to go ahead and answer. Okay, good. If you think only a poor understand the poor and only the rich understand the rich, rich and only the politician understand the politician and only a journalist like you understands the journalist, you are far, far away from truth. It's only the rich who understands the poor, also an occasional, genuine, honest poor will understand it's the only poor. Only the rich understand the poor. I didn't say only, I said the you rich did. You said and rich. also the poor, but not the slogan-mongering politician. Can I put a question to you? No, no, you are interrupting. Not the slogan-mongering politician. So I, being rich or poor, is irrelevant. You, you sound to say just gay. like a slogan-mongering politician to me. You've adapted to your new role with alacrity. Absolutely. You sound like the exact sort of person that inhabits the Rajya Sabha. You've taken when to it like Rome, a fish do as the Romans do. Ah, so you're accepting it. Of course I'm going to function as I'm supposed to function in Raj Sabha. I will not function in Raj Sabha as I'm supposed to function in the boardroom of Bajaj Auto. So you're going to become a It'll conventional... Be in, you're going to become you a conventional... And people Indian are not politician. able to listen to you and me both because uh, we are cross-firing. Are you saying uh, to me that you're going to become a conventional, typical Indian politician? I don't know what that is. If a conventional Indian politician is good, that's what I will be. If he's corrupt and useless and a criminal, I will not be. Can I put a question to you? 89% of the farmers of Maharashtra are in debt. Their quantum of debt has increased by 232% since 1991. As a result, 
in the last one year, 550 suicides have taken place in just one district. Very long question again. Very long question. It is important. They have the said the farmers are in trouble in Maharashtra and Andhra no. and some other I'm places. Talking of debt, and I know I'm that. talking of debt in particular because can a man who's worth 419 crore understand what it's like to be in debt to the point at which you take your life? Can you understand that? Let's see, I can't understand. What's the next question? Well, if you can't understand it, what, what am I doing in Rajasthan? What will you be? What sort of What are the other 800 doing? And what have they done about these so farmers? you'll be no different from them. What have they, they done about the farmers? You find out what I'll do after six months, 12 months, 18 months, and four years. That's when you'll find out what Rahul Bajaj does. And he's not presumptuous enough, unlike you. Rahul is not presumptuous enough to believe that out of 800 MPs, one MP will do any magic for anybody, leave alone the farmers. I don't want to shed crocodile tears for anybody. But and will I will you, not. But will you do a job of work that would make the state I shall of Maharashtra speak. proud of you? That time will tell. It will be Are you confident you can? Are you confident I will do my best. And I am confident that till now, whatever I have done, I have achieved a very little modicum of success. And I hope to achieve with God's good grace and cooperation of friends, even like you, Karan. I hope to achieve a very small modicum of success in the Raj Sabha during my remaining four-year term. Rahul Bajaj, on that note, good luck as the Rajya Sabha MP. We'll be watching you. Thank you very much. I need that good wishes and good luck. Thank you, Karan.